Hello, my name is Krishna from Best Engineering Project and today in this video, I am going to show you how to make a accurate clock using RTC module and NTP time server. This circuit automatic update the time of RTC module from the network time server and display over this LCD. Before going to how the circuit operates and its software code, please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon in order to get notification of every future project that I will upload in this channel. Now let's reveal some fact that why I am using this Node MCU module while I am using this RTC module. The answer is very simple. Now, RTC module, this module shows some time delay after some day or week. This is due to the temperature dependent oscillator used in this type of module. If you see the data sheet of DS3231 time variation is about 2 minutes per year, but it is not true when you practically use it. Previously I had made the video on this and it saw about 5 minute time delay in 24 hours. That variation is due to the serve climate and frequently on of the circuit. In order to solve that type of time delay, I am using here node MCU which communicate with network time protocol server and update the time of this RTC module. Now let's see the operation of the circuit. This node MCU communicate with network time protocol server and update the time of this RTC module. The updated time is given to this Arduino board through SDA and SCL pin as this A4 and A5 pin and the updated time is displayed over this LCD. So there is no chance of time delay and advancement. So this clock is much accurate. Another advantage of this project is when internet is available RDC get time update from the NTP server when there is no internet unlike normal NTP using node MCU it even so the time because it is RTC module this Arduino Uno board is optional here because I am using this board here in order to control this LCD if your project does not require this type of LCD then there is no use of using this Uno board before circuit diagram, let's look through the component required for this Arduino NTP clock. For node MCU is required, similarly one RTC module DS3231 is required, one Arduino Uno board, one 16-2 LCD, one 10 kilo ohm variable resistor and a 470 ohm resistor and few number of jumper according to your requirement. Now let's see the circuit, how it look like. As you can see in circuit diagram, each and every component has a specific library in Protest but not the node MCU have. So I am using here 4 pin connector, each pin representing D2, D1, 3.3 volt and ground respectively. Another thing is also missing in the circuit diagram like LCD pin number 15 and 16 is not shown here. Pin number 15 of LCD is connected to plus 5 volt through a current limiting resistor, let's say 417 ohm. Similarly, pin number 16 of LCD is connected to ground. Connect all the component according to circuit diagram. Here in this video, I am not going to show you how to wire all this component because previously I had already posted how to interface 16 into two LCD with Arduino and how to interface this DS3231 RTC module with Arduino. So please do watch the previous video if you feel any difficulties in wiring this 62 LCD and RTC module. I had already integrated the link in description section. After wiring all the circuit component as shown in circuit diagram, let's look toward software part. As this circuit contains two different MCU, that is microcontroller unit, so we need two different programs, each for Arduino Uno board and Node MCU. In order to download the software code for your Arduino Uno board and Node MCU, click the link given in the description section bestengineeringprojects.com slash Arduino NGP clock using Node MCU and DS3231. 
scroll down there you will find the software code for node mcu and software code for arduino uno board in order to download the software code when you hover your mouse over this code a drop down menu appear there when you press ctrl plus c it will copy that code and paste it in your arduino ide window before using this code at first you have to download various library file because without this library file this code will not run there are altogether six library file which we are going to use in this project that are timelib.h esp8266 wifi.h wifi udp.h wire.h rtc ds3231.h and lcd.h that is liquid crystal.h now open the code of node mcu in your arduino ide first change your network ssid name your home Wi-Fi name and password with your home Wi-Fi name password you have to change one more thing that is your time zone the time zone for Nepal is plus 5.45 in order to change your time zone scroll down to the function time slash t space get ntp time this function basically return the time in second since 1980 line number 168 there you will see return sick uh, since 1900 minus this long integer plus 5 into sick for hour plus 2700 this 5 into sick per hour represent 5 hour and this 2700 represent 45 minute in term of second if you are in time zone GMT plus 6 then you do not have to add this extra 2700 if your time zone is GMT plus 5.30 then you only have to add 1800 instead of 2700 upload this code to your node MCU do not have to change anything in Arduino Uno code unless you wish to control your LCD with other pin now we have connected all the component according to the circuit diagram now let's keep the power supply to the circuit It take few seconds in order to synchronize the time for this RTC module from network time server protocol. Now as you can see here, this RTC module gets synchronized time from network time server protocol through this node MCU and this Arduino board is used to display the accurate date and time in this Sydney to LCD. In this way you can make your own more accurate time clock using node mcu and ds3231 when internet is available this rtc model get updated from network time server protocol and when there is no internet this rtc stand alone display the time over this lcd thank you for watching please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon in order to get notification of every new project that i will upload in Best Engineering Project Channel